delay that I have is a Pickle Manic. Uh, this was an option that was out before the Quick Change Gearbox. So it was that step in between to be able to quickly uh, change gears so you can do different types of uh, uh, threading or, or cut threads. Uh, I always thought that the lathe was built this way, but according to this handbook, it it seems like uh, this was an an option that you can buy and have and install it yourself. Uh, in any case, I looked this over. I think this is a pretty straightforward uh, operation. Uh, I think I just got to take this off or, or move this down so I can get to this screw, this screw, and these two nuts uh, over there. And... Um, Hopefully it comes off with little to no issues, so that's where I'm going to start. Well, this is a good sign. Uh, at least this is the lower screw that I just took out, and uh, it looks like it has quite a bit of uh, oil on it, as you can tell from my... Uh, Glove, so I think this machine was really well taken care of. I haven't yet to see any um, broken teeth, but uh, the paint is pretty much intact, and uh, uh, you know a couple of broken like uh, oil caps here and there. But uh, the condition was really, really good. Uh, of course, I'm getting down to this screw, and uh, I don't want to strip it. I don't have the right angle. I don't want to have to take this gear off. I, I just might have to, which would be. A bummer, but uh, see what I can do to get this one out. Yeah, I don't have the right angle. It's always one screw. Oh, that was pretty easy. Once again, covered in oil, which I take is a good sign. All right, these are a little hard to get to. These are uh, half inch bolts and I uh, slipped a little bit on this one, but it got loose. I was afraid I was gonna round the corners. A little bit of damage. All right, I'm not sure what is next. Uh, I guess I'm just going to try and move it, see, uh, see what happens. Oh, looks like nothing's happening. All right. I think it came to uh, a decision. I'm having a hard time getting this off. I do think that I might have to dismantle this even further, which I am sort of loath to do. Uh, um, I don't want to take this down too far where I'm unable to put it back together again or, or possibly break something. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave this on. And also another reason why I think I don't need to take it off is uh, I took a look inside here uh, and it's actually pretty clean in there. I know it's a little hard to see with this camera and this lighting but uh, I thought it would be super caked with sawdust and it's not. It's uh, This lathe is actually in really good condition. Um, you know, except for one part of the ways 
uh, it like there's not a single broken tooth on it. It seems like it is, it's been well oiled. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of the main reasons why I wanted to take this off was to, cause I was afraid there was sawdust and oil and grease creating this abrasive sort of compound. And, um, I didn't want the lathe to get ruined, but that doesn't seem to be the case. The other, what I probably will do is take this assembly apart anyway, uh, leave the headstock on, um, one, because I need to learn how to do that. Uh, I am going to get a V-belt, but if it's good to know this because if you wanted to change a regular, let's say if I put a regular belt on, I need to know how to do this anyway. And then this is sort of the, uh, you know, an area that you would want to, you know, really get in there and clean it and uh, make sure it's well oiled. Uh, I mean, it seems fine. There's not a lot of sawdust I mean, I did give this thing a little bit of a cleaning when I first got it, uh, but, you know, I, I could almost probably, most likely get away not taking this apart. Uh, you know, once again, it was just uh, about cleaning it and reducing the weight. So, uh, for now, I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to tackle this another night. Oh, and one other thing. There might be an access point underneath this gearbox. I see a couple of screws here, uh, and if it is an access point, that would be that would be good. Uh, if not, no big deal. And uh, call it a cop out, but you know, I I don't want to take this lathe down to a point where I am completely frustrated because I lost something. Uh, I'm very careful, but you know it happens or I break something or it's just in so many pieces that it just seems too daunting to put back together. Uh, I want her up and running so I can start learning on it. And the more I learn, uh, then, then doing work on her, uh, when it's needed becomes easier and easier. So let me see if I could get this off. I mean, I always take it a good sign, you know, a, a machine that this is this old, or a machine as old as this, where like these tiny little screws come out, no problem. Uh, that's why I feel like it's been very well taken care of. Yeah, all right. So this part does come off. Yeah, there's a lot of crud on this. Yeah, I can get it right in there and clean that puppy up. But it seems really well oiled. I just wanted to show the bottom of the pan that I just took off. That is pretty, pretty nasty, but... There's no real, like, wood in there. It's just old gunk and oil. I mean, those gears look brand new. So I'm just gonna get in there and clean and uh, call it a night. So here's that cover after. Uh, you can see it cleaned up really nicely. It was actually caked on a lot thicker than I uh, originally thought, but it cleaned up and uh, I took off the I want to show you this I took off the handle uh, of the gearbox and this is this is sort of what I was afraid of I was cleaning this and then look in there look at that look at that sawdust and crud that's what I wanted to make sure it wasn't on the gears but let me show you what I did so far so I cleaned um, in that sort of crevice there. You can see a lot of crud came out. So I did my best to get in there, clean it up, and uh, it looks good. The, uh, the paint job underneath there is like almost brand new. I don't know if you can really tell in the camera, but uh, it looks that foot looks like freshly painted. 
that's all I got to tonight. Now I just got to clean up. I made a big mess everywhere. Oh, by the way, using this stuff here from Home Depot, the purple cleaner. I also um, was suggested to use ammonia for some of the tough oil stains. Um, but uh, this stuff seems to be pr working pretty well just uh, for degreasing. And that's it. So next time I'll try to tackle this. Thanks for watching everybody. Mm -hmm.